but I have to do it really light, really light. I'm so scared. Ooh. Hey friend, welcome back to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour, our little hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. If you are new here, my name is Marilyn and I'm bringing you all things beauty, fashion, glamour, lifestyle, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. All of that. subscribe. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving a full tutorial on this fall glam. This is a soft fall inspired glam for you guys. So if you want to get into it, girl, just, just keep watching because I'm going to roll the tape and I'm going to roll the tape now because I'm giving you all of that. All that. All of that. All that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get right into it. And I am going to start with my brows. And I'm using my shop miss a brush or brow pencil which is a dollar y'all really need to get on to shop miss a if you don't already you know if you don't already know a lot of their products are a dollar or like a dollar fifty i love this brow pencil it's, it's the only one i really use i have tried some drugstore ones here and there but the fact that this is like a dollar can change girl all right so i'm just filling in my brows so I just kind of trace the bottom a bit just to clean it up and I trace the top just to clean it up and then kind of fill in the lines around this part. I don't really do much to the beginning. That way it can fade, you know, naturally and not look, look too blocky. I don't want to like, you know, like that square look here. I don't like that. All right, so this is enough. This is enough for me. So I went ahead and outlined this brow off camera with my concealer. I use my NYX um, Born to Glow concealer to highlight my brows. And that's the color Maple. So I'm just going to trace it on this eye so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys hear that noise in the background. I don't know what's going on outside, but hopefully you don't hear it. So I just traced the brows and I am going to bring the concealer down on my eyelid. Cause I do use concealer as like a primer. I don't really use like an eye primer, but I just use a concealer and it, I mean, it, it does me fine. All right, so I went ahead and just kind of blended that out. Let me just do the top. Normally I would suggest though, for this part, use a color that's close to your skin tone. That way you don't have to work as hard to blend the top because you don't want to have that you know that little halo effect so but i'm not doing that i didn't i just didn't feel like getting something else but i'll make sure i blend it i'll use the foundation and kind of blend over it so that way it doesn't have like a like a halo all right put some more um concealer on both of my eyelids so I'm going to use this as my primer, like I mentioned. I am going to set this with the powder before actually going in with the eyeshadow. So it, that way it can be smooth when I go to put the um, eyeshadows on. All right, so that looks good so far. So far, so good. What's this? Oh no, let's get that off. All right, now let's grab the setting powder which I am gonna use the Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So that's what I'm gonna to use to go ahead and set my eyes. I'm gonna grab another Shop Miss A brush and just kind of dip it in the um, setting powder and then press it on my eyelids just to set that concealer in place. So this makes the, um, the eyeshadows go on a lot smoother than just going straight um, into the eyeshadows onto the wet concealer. So this is gonna allow it to set the concealer in place and allow the colors from the eyeshadow palette to go on a lot smoother. All right. All right, so that's set. So let's go ahead and start the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the eye look and then we'll do the face. I always do the eye first because it's just, for me, it's cleaner. So if any eyeshadows fall into my makeup or whatever, it, it's easier to clean up. Once my face is done, it's done. I don't need any mistakes, so I don't want I, I don't want to make any room for error. So this is the way I do it. I'm going to use 
my this is a soft glam look so I'm going to use my Becca palette and I'm going to start with this light color here and just going to use that in the crease and then we'll build it so it's a soft but it's a fall inspired look but it's still going to be a soft glam so I will use a few darker colors but I'm trying to make this a very simple eye look so I'm just going to start with this in the crease just to kind of warm it up so just go back and forth here try to get some right here on the side so right like at the beginning of the brow and kind of like blend that color upward like so So that looks good then I'm gonna go in with the darker color and go right along in this area here and just make it a little darker The next color that I'm going to use is actually going to be from a blush palette. So. so I'm just going in circular motions. I feel like circular motions help you blend out faster and a lot more like flawless. All right, so I deepened up that here. You can see how my crease looks very warm now. Let me put a little bit more on this eye. This is a fluffy eyeshadow brush I got from Walgreens so many years ago, and this thing is still going strong, girl. Strong. All right, so let's grab the next color. Okay, so I changed my mind. I was going to grab a color from my um, Juvia's Place blush palette as an eyeshadow, but I changed my mind. I decided to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette, and I'm going to go for this brown here. This color right here is called Yugo. So I'm gonna put that on the lid. So it's like a dark, a very dark brown. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. And I'm just gonna pack it. Cause this is where we want the color to be the most intense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it. This is actually not the right brush. Let me grab the right brush. I'm so lazy. Let me get the right brush. <laughs> Got a larger shade of brush, which works much better for the eyes. So you just tap it on. Gonna go over the whole lid. So I just want it to be like a soft brown smoky look, which looks great during the fall. It goes great with the vibe. So, so I'm just packing it, packing it on. Like when it comes to the lid, the packing motion is probably the best technique to use because that's when you normally want the most color pay off. And if you do this, you're not really sharing out the color. You're placing it and kind of just stamping it in the area that you need it to be. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'll go ahead and just keep packing that on. All right, so I have it on both eyelids. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter brown, which this color is called 1998. And I'm gonna go in the crease a little bit and kind of soften it up. And I'm gonna use that blending brush here. I'm gonna go right in here with the brown, just to soften it up. So it doesn't look so harsh as like I needed to transition smoothly and I needed to look smoked out so I'm grabbing a brown but just a little bit lighter for the crease softening up this part here so I'm using a really light hand so I can control the um, 
the eyeshadow. All right, so I like how that looks. I'm not doing any liner at the top. I'm going straight into the lashes because this is a soft glam. So I typically don't really do top liner anyway, but I'm gonna go straight into lashes because the lashes are by Promise Mink, so you, you know they're already like on the dramatic side. So this is really gonna elevate it. So I'll go ahead and apply my lashes and come back. I went ahead and applied the lashes. Now, if you need a lash tutorial, I actually have a video, it's called um, Amazon Mink Lash Try-On Haul. So if you need pointers on how to apply um, lashes, check that video out, because it would I think would be helpful. So this is a look with just the lashes, no liner. You can see I, I didn't really need to add any liner because these are so dramatic and it just is, ooh, ooh, it's just a bomb. So that's the eye look for now. We'll do the bottom at the end, but now we're gonna get into the face, girl. Let's, my top notch, top notch drugstore foundation. Top notch, it's the NYX, can't stop, won't stop. I am in the color Coco, so I'm gonna squeeze about a pump and a half of that on my hand, and then we're gonna go in. Let me grab my brushes. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna just even my skin. No need to pile on the foundation. Let's go ahead and just even it out. And the way that I get flawless coverage without applying too much foundation is I stamp it. Don't go in like this automatically. Just first stamp it in place where you need it. Don't blend it out. Just kind of stamp or stipple it like so. And I just keep doing this until I don't see any more foundation coming off. So I don't go ahead and dip it in again. I just do this until I don't see anything else really coming off on the brush. And I don't really put any right in this area because I'm gonna put concealer. And I don't wanna over layer products. I really don't, I, I don't enjoy that. <laughs> so we just want it to look flawless, but we want the least amount of product. So I'm still blending it out or still stippling it on until it just kind of blends in that area. I know a lot of people, when they do their foundation, they like to go in and they're like, but you find it used more because you're kind of like wiping it off. So you, you have to keep on going in, going in, going in. This, you're just stamping it in place and you're able to use the least amount of product because of the technique that you're doing. See, I haven't even dipped it back into the um, foundation yet. All right, so now I'm just kind of like blending it, but I'm still only just stippling it, sort of, but just spreading it. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but hopefully you can kind of see. Okay, so foundation, no foundation, foundation, no foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do the same. And I'm just gonna continue to do that until my face is. Covered. Foundation is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my, this is the Born This Way, the multi-use sculpting concealer. I'm in the color Maple in this foundation. I'm sorry, in this concealer. And this is a full coverage uh, concealer. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to make sure I get it right here on the bridge of my nose. Or the sides of my nose, rather. And then under the eye. Just right there. Cause this kind of helps um, further when we contour the nose. So you see it already gives the illusion that my nose is slimmer because we just basically widen this space by carrying it over to the sides of my nose. So it makes this look smaller because it kind of appears that this entire part here is my under eye space when it's, some of it is my damn nose, okay? So, optical illusions. Smoke and mirrors. I highlight here, then right here. Little dots here and the chin and we're gonna blend this out with a wet beauty sponge uh, that's my favorite way to blend it so a wet beauty sponge and then you just kind of like bounce it around under your eye and spread the concealer out so you don't have to draw that triangle you know a lot of people like to draw that big triangle here if you just put some here and just spread it out in that area then it's fine that way you don't use too much product and you don't look cakey under the eyes or anything like that. So I'm just blending that out. I'm 
to see that face coming through, girl. Mm. Mm. This is going to be a good bead. <laughs> so it's already kind of lifted that eye space. It cleaned up. It made the eye look pop even more because it's brighter under the eye. So just keep going here. Then the other side. Just trying to stay as neat as I can right here in this area. This is like my favorite step when I'm doing makeup because this kind of like elevates the look. As soon as I do this part, I can see everything coming together. So make sure you look up too to also open up those lines under your eye. So you can, you know, properly blend the concealer. You can see my nose is starting to look smaller and we haven't even contoured yet. I don't know why. Why go to the doctor and get a new nose when you can like you can build one yourself? <laughs> but to each his own. If you if you feel like you need to do that, do that. I'm not I'm not knocking any of that. Because you need to do you. <laughs> ahead and finish planning that out and then we're gonna go in and bronze like cream bronze before we cream bronze I'm gonna set this concealer and I'm gonna use the same sponge and I'm using the Maybelline fit me the um, medium deep and I'm using it on this damp sponge here and I'm just gonna press press it into my under eye So again, I look up just to press it in properly and open up those lines under your eye. So this part is gonna go everywhere that we put the um, concealer. This is a really great setting powder, y'all. I, you see how flawless this is for a glam though this is like we're going out okay we're going out I'm go here set this area here and then get the tip Put a little bit on the tip here so we can do the nose So right now we're looking a little we're looking a little crazy, but don't worry about it. It's gonna blend out. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go right into um, cream bronzing. So now let's cream bronze, and I'm gonna use my foundation stick that I love from Juvia's Place, and it's the color Capsina. All right, so I'm just gonna go here. It's just like a reddish brown, so it's not too dark. Not too dark. Just come here, just dotting it a little bit just to help me kind of control how much I put on. This is super creamy. This is a really great um, stick to use to bronze or to contour, and it's very beginner friendly because it blends. It blends easily. Okay, let me just roll it up a bit so I can get on my nose here. So doing that little that little arrow almost, it makes the tip of your nose look a little bit more pointed and it kind of defines this ball here. So it gives it makes the eye focus on this part so it appears a lot slimmer. So smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors, girl. So let's go ahead and blend this out. Let's blend out the face first. I'm gonna go here. And I'm making sure it goes back into my hairline. And then 
this we're gonna blend in an upward sort of motion. Now blend it, blend it, blend it. This is a look, girl. So you can see how warm my face looks. So it's certainly bronze, it's not really um contoured. Blending this part right into the hairline here. Okay, again, going circular motions. Kind of get a little bit here on the cheeks. more on my forehead than I really wanted because my forehead is already like you see a little okay but I'm gonna go in with more powder right here and make it make that space look wider okay so let's get something smaller for the nose I use this brush here So now we're gonna grab the, the brush that we did our foundation with. I'm gonna go over where we just um, blended out the bronzing, okay? So I'm just gonna go over it here just to further blend it and merge it so you can see. I'm not wiping it, I'm just kinda of like pressing and pressing over it. So you can see how much it blends out so much better. So you can't, you can see that I have contour or bronze, and you can see that I'm highlighted, but you can't see where it either begins or ends, and that is, that's the goal. I'm gonna go here on the side of my nose. And I like to use the foundation brush because the foundation brush has my actual color on it, so it's like a layer of that over this. So it comes off a lot more flawless. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> the skin looks, the skin looks good. Um, I do want to put a little bit more setting powder under my eye and a little bit here. Um, just to brighten it a bit. Just a little. Right here on this part here. Right there. And a little bit right there. Just to kind of clean this part up and bring back some light because it did get lost a little bit when I was doing all of that. I'm gonna put some of my forehead to widen the space a little bit. Purr. All right, so that's looking good. I just have to blend this part out a little bit with the sponge, but I just wanted it to be, I wanted to put some of the brightness back because I did lose it a little bit when I was doing all that damn blending. So you can you can see what it does when I put it back, what it does for the look. Bring this down. Okay, honey. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. All right. So now I'm gonna set that cream contour with the powder, and I'm gonna use my favorite, my favorite, Makeup Revolution Dark um, Bronzing Powder. I'm gonna use this a fan brush to set that. I love, it smells so good. I'm gonna use a large fan brush that I got from Shop Miss A. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, dust it along the perimeters. I love how this is looking. My skin, my skin in person, honey, honey. So that's all I'm going to do as far as I'm not going to set the rest of my face because I really don't need to. But if you, you know, wish to set it, you certainly can with just a normal face powder. But I'm not putting any more powder. 
this is good the foundation was a matte foundation so i feel like i don't really need to add any more powder to mattify it too much because i like a nice radiant face i'm a little closer <laughs> um i'm gonna do a little bit of blush i'm using my juvia's place uh saharan palette volume one i don't know which color i should do Sticking up this since it is a fall look. Um, but their their colors are very pigmented, so I have to be so careful. I'm gonna go for Abby, which is this dark color here. So let's see. But I have to do it really light, really light. I'm so scared. Ooh! Let's blend this out. Okay, Abby, that's not so bad. I gotta blend it out. Okay, so that's not so bad. I didn't want it to be too blushy. You know that, that blushy. I just want like a little blush. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go in and highlight. And I'm going to use... Dang, where's my little... Oh, I gotta get another brush. I hate when you sit down and do your makeup and you're missing something. I've been missing like four things already and it's very annoying. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and highlight. Got my little brush. I'm going to use Lila from this palette. Lila, okay, so Lila better come. Lila, all of these are gonna come through because Lila, Lila, hmm, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. So I'm just gonna put out my little fan brush here and I'm gonna go right in this area and highlight. You see Lila? <laughs> you see Lila, girl? Ooh. <laughs> the excitement. Nice glow. So let's do the other side. So pretty. So pretty. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put some right here. Right here. I am going to start finishing the under eye. And it's gonna be soft. I'm gonna use probably gonna use this blush. I'm gonna use Abby color here and I'm gonna smudge it along the bottom parts of my eye just to smoke it out a bit um, I don't want it to be too you know too harsh so I'm not gonna do eyeliner or anything like that I want it to be a soft ball glam so that's what we're doing okay so I'm dipping it a little bit now and I'm gonna go right under here and just bring it down just smoke it out just a little bit nothing too dark or hard See, just a nice, soft, soft little smoked out look. I like that. So next eye. That is really, this is really cute actually. So now I'm gonna grab a little brush and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner um, of my eye with the same highlight that we use on our cheeks, so, which is Lila. So I'm just gonna grab a small little detail brush like this and come right in this area right here. Also gonna um oh yeah I gotta bring it up some more hold on okay, and I'm also gonna highlight the bridge of my nose right here in the center and the tip with this small brush. For the lips, which are also going to be Julia's Place. It's from their matte collection, their matte um, nudes. 
collection, so I'm going to grab those. I want a little bit of a darker lip, so I'm going to mix um, these two colors. These are by Juvia's Place. One is called Coco, and the other one is called Toffee from their matte lip collection. So, take those both off. So, this one is, this is Toffee, and this is Coco. So, they're both um, brown. This one is just a little bit lighter, so let me grab my um, mirror and we're gonna get. All right, so first I'm gonna start with Coco as an like an outline because I'm doing sort of like an ombre lip, so I'll do Coco first. So that's Coco. Now let's go for the lighter brown, which is Toffee. So that looks really pretty. This is a gorgeous look all right so we finishing this look up guys what do you think hold on hold on okay i went ahead and fixed my hair up threw some water in it give you the you know a nice wet sexy look um hopefully you guys enjoyed this look this is how it came out so pretty it's a darker look but it's still a soft glam very fall appropriate hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you want to try these products girl the links are below the links are below click them don't forget to click that like button, turn on your notifications, and subscribe, okay? You come here all the time. You might as well subscribe, okay? All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.